G'day guys and welcome back to another video. Um, I wasn't even going to hand tour film anything today, but um, yeah, sort of got the better of me. Thought I'd better go down into the river and have a look while I'm here. I originally came out because earlier in the year when everything was wet and green, um, I was hunting this block and Kev had caught a sow and this dingo was harassing him. So um, in all that chaos, I dropped my tracker to shoot at the dingo and um, yeah, never found the tracker again. So I'll put a link to that video here. If you want to go and watch that, um, go and check that out. Um, so yeah, a bit disappointing. I wasn't able to find it today either, which is a bit upsetting, but hey, it happens. So I thought while I'm here, I might have a walk in the river, just try and burn a bit of time and found this cracking pig laid up in here. Um, he sound asleep. So I got within probably 10 meters and put a shot into him um and pretty well sorted him out straight away so great set of hooks i didn't know they were going to be anything like that when i found him so um yeah cracking pig we're only 100 meters into this walk with about a kilometer to go so fingers crossed we can now something around his size again would be unreal so and hopefully catch up with you when i got one through the scope again so i've just come up to a pocket of water Probably only 50 metres in front of me, but it's the first bit of water I've seen, so I'd expect there to be a pig not too far away. But what I wanted to point out was there's a heap of guinea fowl on it. Just there. So any animal on this water hole will be watching those guinea fowl, and that's going to be like an alarm bell for those pigs. So I'm going to walk out of the river here do a bit of a loop try and get on the other side and um yeah hopefully i'm not going to spook these guinea fowl because that'll pretty well ruin the whole walk so we'll put that into practice and see how we go how's this the things you see come up to this little water hole healthy dead barrel he'd have to go probably close to the 80 mark i reckon fat fish but these fish are just getting trapped in these water holes and obviously as they get smaller the oxygen just gets sucked out of them so they can't survive and unfortunately he's only died a couple of days ago too so I'll keep an eye out because there's every chance that there's a couple more like that in this water hole and if there are I'll come back here tomorrow and try and catch them um, I know where there's some more water in the river so um yeah if i can catch them i'll try and jerry rig some sort of fish tank and um yeah we can get them to there so see how we go That's the first of those barra I've been able to see in here. Um, I didn't realise, but there's so many freshies in here too. So I'm a little bit on edge just for the fact that um, where you find barra, you normally find cro uh, saltwater crocodiles. So um, yeah, seeing that many freshies in here sort of tells me there probably isn't a salty in here because he would push them out most likely. But yeah, cool to see. Anyway, that's a great fish. come up with a plan I might try and um, yeah, work out a way that I can come back here tomorrow and catch this fella I don't know how he'll go feeding or eating a lure he might be pretty lethargic so um, yeah I suppose all you can do is try so that might be tomorrow's mission so. no luck unfortunately for the rest of that walk it was um, still pretty cool to see all those freshies and that free swimming bar and that little landlocked pool. Um, I was thinking before, it's a little bit of a logistical nightmare um, trying to save that bar and relocate him to a different pool. So 
he's just gonna have to hang out and wait for the rains hopefully they come in time to be able to save him but when I was walking around there there was still plenty of bait fish and that sort of thing so he's got plenty of food um, yeah the only thing will be hopefully that pool doesn't get any smaller and obviously all his oxygen in that water is gonna diminish on him the smaller that pool gets so hopefully the rains can save that fella but um, I'm just checking a few dams on my way out of this block um, seeing plenty of wallows in all the dams that I've been looking into but yet to find a big so I was thinking I've got a couple more to check on my way out of here um, if I can't find one out of these last couple Maggie's got the day off tomorrow so might bring her out here and see if we can find one um, it's just a thing of luck really these dams when you're checking them you just got to get the timings right so if you check enough of them eventually you're going to get the timing right so I'll get Mags out here tomorrow and um, yeah hopefully we can find one and go from there so I'll see you tomorrow We're on the board. I don't know if he's the one that we first seen that was wallowed up in here. There's another wallow there, which means I know, but the dams have paid dividends. How good, bloody reliable dam this time of year. There's a stretch of river down behind us that's got no water in it for ages so um, yeah it's a bit of a hot spot this time of year when water's really scarce they do seem to come in on this dam pretty reliably so we'll go and have a look at this fella it's a bit hard shooting long shots with the red dot but yeah luckily he wasn't in a rush to go anywhere which is normally what they're like when it's hot as it is now and there's no water so well spotted Margaret I thought you were telling me there was another one you could see. No, I was saying quick. <laughs> oh. Well here's a better look at that boar we just flushed out of the dam there. Definitely not the biggest or the oldest pig, but um, still a quality boar, that's for sure. Um, we're sort of taking bets as we're driving into this dam about whether there'd be a pig on it or not. And um, yeah, this dam's been really productive for us in recent years, this time of year when the water in the river's really drying up. They seem to rely on this dam a lot more than others. so. Um, he was wallowed up in there and um, quickly got a shot away. Mags and I were both pretty excited once we got the gun out of the car. There was a bit of um, sort of squealing and carrying on <laughs> to get the shot off quicker than um, what I did. So the first shot was no good, pretty well discarded that. And um, yeah, once I knew there wasn't a second pig around that I thought Mags was pushing me onto, I sort of got up over this little embankment here and he was just stood up in this long grass here staring at me. So um I've recently made the change to 165 grain hollow point rounds out of the 3032 and have noticed a much better kill rate um, with those closer shots too. So as soon as I got that second shot into him from a nice close range, he just went down straight away. So it's good to get him away. I'll give you a look at this second wallow here. It's covered in dirty water, which means it was recently used. Um, I reckon it's slightly better pig than what this fella is. So um, we'll make our way down into the river. I reckon there's every chance that second pig's just going to be laid up in there having a sleep, which they often do. So I'll give you a look at that on the way through. And then fingers crossed, in a perfect world, this other fella's just going to be laid up there waiting for us. So see you when we get down there. So I'll give you a quick walk around of this dam that we just flushed that bore off. This is his wallow here. So take your pick between those two where he's been sitting in. There's another wallow um, of about the same size on that side. And over here is the other wallow that I was talking about before. It's got some pretty um, recently turned over dirty water that had come out of it. So um, that sort of says to me that maybe earlier this morning this was used. You can see here it's 
Um, hasn't been really rooted up. It's a bit of an older wallow, but all that cloudy water that's coming out of this wallow, that means that there may have been one only recently just laid up in here with that other fella. Um, and he's just got the jump on us. So rivers that way, we'll, um, we'll drive down a bit closer and fingers crossed he's just laid up under a tree waiting for us. Well, that's where I'll end this video, unfortunately, guys. Mags and I spent um, a bit of time in this river, walked a couple hundred metres of it, nice and slow, and couldn't see any boars or any signs. So we decided we'd pack up and head back to Cairns. Um, I'm off chasing sailfish on my own tomorrow for a couple of days. So I'm hoping I can get a video out to you guys next week um, chasing these fish, and hopefully I can land one solo. So that's the plan for now if not um there's plenty of pigs to be caught before christmas so stay tuned i reckon i'll get a couple videos out uh before then so cheers for watching if you made it this far and i'll see you in the next one